This drivetrain only costs $167, and I've been riding it for six months straight. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. All right, so I've been introducing you guys to my new bikes and I have had one consistent question every time I see any of you in real life. And I have a very nice evil offering, great suspension, but the one thing everybody always asks me about is my drivetrain. Now, if you haven't watched my bike build videos on this bike, my hardtail, and my previous hardtail, I've been running the Advent X by Microshift. If you haven't heard about this drivetrain, it came out in April and it was a new one by Microshift, which has been known in the past for making lower end mountain bike and just cycling components in general. But they came out with this clutch derailleur 10 speed that has an 11 to 48 cassette and they really wanted to shake up the market. And so the cassette, the derailleur and the shifter all together cost $167, which is very inexpensive for the amount of range you get. But the crazy part is that it weighs less than Shimano's new XT 12 speed and less than SRAM's GX 12 speed. So I'm a huge fan of getting low cost things that have a very great review and uh, will last for a long time. So I've been riding this drivetrain nonstop for six months, literally on all my bikes. So I ride about two times a week out on trails and I've been putting this thing through the paces in all weather conditions and I can't wait to share with you my long term review. So first up is the overall feel of the drivetrain and I realize it's probably better to talk about that while actually using it out on the trails. Let's get out there. All right, everybody, I'm on my way up the north side in Bellingham here at Galbraith. And I realized with the derailleur, there's a lot of really good real world situations to put these things to the test to. Because the truth is more than just the clutch mechanism and how much noise it makes, smoothness of shifting up and down the cassette while being put under pressure uphill as well as dumping gears downhill really creates the whole picture of how a drivetrain operates so let's go put this thing through the paces all right this spot is a great test for what i call the wrong gear so i'm in way too high of a gear right now pedaling pretty hard and gonna have to all of a sudden under pressure right now downshift and as you hear, it's never a good idea under pressure like this to shift down on your derailleur, but the Advent X handles it pretty well. All right, coming out of the granny gear, a couple drops, and by drops, I mean drop into higher gears. And yeah, this thing at first glance, and this drivetrain's probably been used four or 500 miles, still perfect. Like, I've only had to make a couple of micro adjustments, but overall, the up and down shifting over time has been excellent. And I really think 10 speeds helps. Makes it so you don't have to fine tune it as much over time. All right, so finishing our climb, still in some low gears, about to drop into Bob's trail. I've featured this video a handful of times. Let's see how some dumping gears goes and uh, how the clutch holds up on the downhill. Let's go. So right here, under load, downshift three gears and then right back up. That's not a noise that's good to listen to. All right, let's go find some bumps to test this derailleur out a little more. All right, about to go off a drop. I'll try to send her to flat real good. The one thing I will say about this drivetrain is the clutch is a lot better on the derailleur than like a SRAM, in my opinion. Big hook. Oh, clopped my suspension a little bit, but didn't hear a word from the drivetrain. Now, to clarify, I do have the STFU. Which, which is shut the farts up and that's really helping chain tension as well so this isn't just the advent x and that would be an unfair thing to uh compare this to any other advent x on a normal bike but this thing's louder than my hardtail and my advent x is on there too so i thought it would be a good comparison so as you can see, overall, I've had no issues with this drivetrain out on the trails. But I wanna share with you an honest list of the pros and the cons of this drivetrain. So let's start with the pros, the good stuff. Number one, the price point obviously is low, but the second biggest pro that I share with people is setup on this is a breeze. If you've ever tried to set up your own 12-speed drivetrain, 
Getting your derailleur settings for your high and low speed in the B tensioner off of your highest cog gear is such a pain in the butt. And the biggest issue with 12 speed that I find is after about a month of using a new drivetrain, I feel like I'm constantly messing with the, the small adjustment of the tension on the derailleur because since there's so many speeds and the chain is so narrow, it often gets out of whack and has issues shifting. So it literally took me five minutes after I installed everything to get it all set up. And since then, I haven't adjusted anything, not even once. The shifting has been flawless. It's worked really, really well. Um, second pro on this is the range. You don't have the 51 or 52 tooth now that Shimano and SRAM have but the 11 to 48 really is a jack of all trades. I run a 29er and I prefer a 30 tooth up front. That keeps the granny gear pretty low, but you could easily run a 32, which I believe I run on my hardtail. You never feel like oh, I wish I had a lower gear or I wish I had a higher gear. And the number four pro is compatibility. It's so nice that this is on the standard Shimano Freehub driver. Um, so this drivetrain can go on older bikes that have three by drivetrains or mo most wheel sets that have been around. The only negative is if you do have a SRAM XD drivetrain, um, Microshift does not make a cassette that fits on there. But really, um, on a wider range of bikes and wheel types, you're gonna easily be able to throw on this drivetrain. Now, let's go to the cons, because that's also the thing that people wanna ask is, what do I not like about the drivetrain? And there's only one glaring weakness about this drivetrain, and it is in dirty conditions. We're talking pouring rain and lots of mud, like typical PNW fall and winter rides. This drivetrain gets a little more gritty faster than other drivetrains. If you've ever ridden in bad conditions, even no matter how good your drivetrain is, you'll notice that dirt seems to stick to your chain and you feel like it's almost like a little bit of sandpaper in your drivetrain. With the Microshift Advent X, I feel like you get that feeling a little sooner and it's just something that you have to get used to. It's not that big of a con. It's not like there's any damage being done or it makes the ride or the shifting get worse. You just, you hear it, you feel it, you wish it wasn't there, but it is what it is. And for the price savings, I'm gonna feel it on a nicer drivetrain, but it's gonna take a little longer to get there. The only other nitpicky thing I can say about this drivetrain is the shifter is pretty good. Um, but it's not as crisp as a SRAM GX or X01 um, shifter. Um, I would relate it most to, it's like in between a Shimano SLX and a Shimano XT. Some of you, that'll make sense. For others of you, the shifter's fine. I love the grip on it. Um, I just wish it was just a little firmer or snappier, I should say. But overall, really, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I paid full price for one of these drivetrains. Microshift did send me two others, but I would continue to pay full price for these if they didn't send me them. They're that good, the price is right, the durability seems to be really great. Once your chain wears out, it's a 10 speed chain, so that's cheaper than a 12 speed. At the end of the day though, I encourage you guys, go pick up one of yourself, try it out, leave a review for other people so they can know uh, if they should buy it themselves too. But I hope this video answered any questions you had about the long-term durability on the Advan X. All right, you know what time it is. Time to stop watching a guy talk about a very good budget drivetrain and get out there and ride your bike and make sure you do it every day.